Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to test two IMD video cards, HD 5770s in Crossfire. Yeah, but it says HD 67. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm going to use the i7 4790 because it's uh, Windows 7 and I like Windows 7 with the older hardware. And today we're going to see how it's running with this uh, Crossfire setup. In the software, IMD HD 67. 70 yeah msi after burner comes here and it says hd 6770 but what do you mean 6770 6700 no no if i come here the hd 6770 was launched in 2011 january 21 yes and the hd 5770 was launched in october 13 2009 this is wrong because it's 5770 apparently this one i the id from this one is correct imd radeon hd 5770 we're gonna test today two hd 5770 in crossfire those video cards are quite powerful theoretically because they are directx 11 it's got 800 shaders one gig of vram but it's gddr5 850 on the core and 1200 megahertz on the memory Brilliant setup, seriously. By the way, we have to do the test because you need to hear how the video card sounds when I'm, I'm, I'm I don't, I don't say if throttle, but I want to put the video cards, both of the video cards on 60, 70%. Well, let's put it on 75. So you can hear 57, 70s in crossfire on 75%, yeah? Welcome to Crisis. <laughs> if you stay steady, you can actually see. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Don't look at the matrix. Don't look at the matrix. <laughs> Don't look at the matrix. <gasps> Glitchy. I'm not seeing it. <gasps> oh. Don't look at that. <laughs> the matrix agents are here. Oh my god. Oh. That's an interesting glitch, man. Despite um, being uh, such a glitchy game, apparently it, it does the running cross uh, crossfire. So I will I will check it as a as a crossfire compatible because uh, uh, glitches are good for memes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Look at it. It's got 150 FPS. Actually, let's put it on more details. I think this is on low details or something. Oh, low details. I mean, let's try medium details. 69 degrees. I think it will overheat my GPU. Oh, look at that. Ooh, lights on the glitch. I think that's the sun or something. That's a light. What the heck is that? I don't know. All of you, come here. All right, this is going to be interesting. Let's see how it's uh, running in G GTA 5. Uh, let me see the settings. Normal, 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 very normal. <laughs> DirectX 10. Okay, it's very glitchy that uh, menu, but uh, I think there is a high chance that uh, actually this crossfire is actually working. <laughs> <laughs> if it's working, I'm so happy, seriously. <laughs> Whoa, 20 FPS, instant drop. 50 i'll take you just keep it on 50. there's a lot of spikes you know look at that frame time it's kind of horrible i don't like it i really don't like it but it's holding the fact that i have full frame on the screen and it's recording on properly on 1080p that means it's trying to do the right job you know those two video cards on the memory side i got uh, seven thousand uh, seven gig of uh, system ram used decent you know because i have this uh, i7 4 gen actually this one works much better than the the 6 uh, gen i don't know why this 4790 works better in gta 5 than that 6700 i don't know but it's loaded it's really loaded one of the gpu is actually over 72 i'm guessing that's the one in the back you know <laughs> <laughs> that is being suffocated, you know, so 
I spin the wheel. There's no car to win, so I don't know what you're gonna do. Cash, give me oh, RP. Disregarding this, apparently, GTA 5 is a natural born crossfire compatible. Seriously. Okay, so I wanna try World of Tanks. I wanna try World of Tanks because, um, yeah, look at it. <laughs> It's glitchy. This is not for SLI, neither for Crossfire. But I added uh, uh, the game in the profile and I asked him, I put it on uh, Force Crossfire. So now we're gonna test and see how the game is running on minimal uh, in either NVIDIA or AMD. If you force them, it will run like this in uh, glitches. <laughs> oh, look at me! It's a chessboard! Wow, look at this. But I have hundreds of FPS. I'm so proud of this configuration, seriously. Look at it. <laughs> it's so funny. Maybe we can get a glitch somewhere and we can benefit from the glitch. Who knows? 200 FPS. I'll take it. All day. You know why? Because the core load is under 50. I'm on 38, both of the GPUs. That means the, the temperature will be okay for them. You know, and the frame time, it will be at least stable if i may say but uh, i don't think so i'm gonna see we are going to see how the gpu is performing both of the gpu actually nice oh my f days i'm looking on those uh, um those cards and i see only awesomeness seriously you see you see glitches and and but i i only see awesomeness because uh, there are 2009 video cards you know so back in the days this video card uh, was in the same year where when Ar armor i want to say armor Air for in the same year where uh, world of tanks came out you know so if i'm using one video card i'm guessing it will be really nice to see how it's working without this type of glitches standalone all right let's try uh, rocket league apparently there is a chance that we can actually play okay so let's see the settings for the game it's uh, on high performance 1080p full screen and um, high performance uncapped let's jump in and uh, see how it's running holy smoke it's actually running in crossfire damn we have a winner Awesome performance from the Crossfire, I'm not gonna lie, this is quite impressive, but uh, I need to understand uh, how well and how many games I can play like this, seriously. I'm impressed how the, the FPS is holding on this Crossfire. Still on good temps with this, on 60% load with this. Oh my god, can't believe it. I'm actually, can't believe it, seriously. No. no, he was there, man. It was there. All right, let's try CSGO with this uh, combination. I don't think it's going to work, but I can actually see it in the menu. It doesn't work. I'm going to try to force it. So 1080p on the low details. Let's see if we can actually go outside and make uh, CSGO running crossfire. All right, we're in. Yeah, we're in. Ah, there's no crossfire. Very sad that uh, I can't enjoy uh, CS:GO with crossfire because it's 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 got the it's got the specs. Fuck, <laughs> it's not working. But I got the FPS. It's missing my fr fr frequency on the second GPU. Why is it 100? Come on, boy. Suck it. It's actually good. It's, it's very snappy. More time. Ideal would be to, to delete this crossfire, to take one video card out because it's not working. If you're interested in CSGO, you can. I, I think you can actually play CSGO like this because look at it, 90% load, 80% load, 
which actually does the job in, in, in solo. There is no there is no need to butcher the, cro the, the video card. But just in case you have two of them, you can enable crossfire and disable disable crossfire for CSGO so you don't so you don't care. All right, let's try cross out because cross out is not very compatible. I just do a test drive because I want to show you what's going on. Look at the glitches. <laughs> 95% load on the GPU. Yeah, boy, I will take you. But I got so many FPS 150. You want crossfire? This is how it's going to look. Okay, let's try. I know it's not going to be the same FPS like I had in test drive, but I want to see, I want to see the glitches. Oh, there's no, there's not, not a lot of glitches. All right. Still the same FPS, 70 degrees, 69 degrees. Oh yes, nice. Seriously. Damn, what the f is going on? Those are some horrible glitches. Okay, just one meter in front, so I can, Kill Matthew here. I'm gonna do some damage. Damn, don't lose my wheels. My drone is still up. Oh, you go. Bananas. At least now I have the opportunity to actually see the glitches. Look at it everywhere, seriously. The, the, the cores are fully loaded. It's working really nice. The frame time, look at how linear the frame time is. Over 100 FPS. I'll take you. But the only problem is the temperature on the 76, 70, 80 degrees. They get really hot and I don't like it. Plus, you, they, the GPU stay so close to each other that one of them will always be suffocated, you know? That's the 75, I think. <laughs> but nevertheless, nevertheless, I'm, I'm very surprised how much memory it's using. 1.6 gig because it's added one fee each video card has one gig yeah so you managed to add up the the memory cross out thank you even forced this game managed to do justice to this uh, configuration all right let's try gta 4 uh, apparently this will be ideal for this um, uh, let me put it on 1080p because uh, apparently there is a lot of options for this one uh, we got um, a lot of uh, room to see how this uh, game is running with crossfire and hopefully we get decent fps but i'm 100 sure i will get a lot of crap here the moment i get outside actually no 60 fps i need this yes okay so crossfire with gta 4 this is interesting maximum details and how nice is running with crossfire this is passive you understand? I didn't force GTA 4 to actually say, hey, can you please run cross in Crossfire with my video card GTA 4? No. It's default mode. And GTA 4 said, I love your Crossfire. <laughs> 49 FPS, but it's working. It doesn't matter. Oh, maximum details. 72% loaded on the core. Would you want more? You can actually put it on medium details and you can put it on medium details and uh, you get uh, better FPS. So you want to play GTA 4 with a retro system, put two 5770s in Crossfire and you're done. Okay, even the temps are good because of the load on the GPU. If it's not fully loaded, the core is, uh, how should I say, it's cooler. Hence why we got 73 degrees. Oh my God, the mechanics. Oh. Yeah. The slide is real, man, in this game, seriously. Okay, let me show you another game that is running really nice on this crossfire. That is Black Ops 2. Apparently, I don't know how, but uh, it's running flawlessly. I th I'm very impressed how the system is working with uh, with those two cores, seriously. With those two GPUs. It doesn't pass 90%, so if it's not passing 90%, it's good. It's good on the, on the temperature, too. If it's maximum, then it's kind of horrible on, on the temps. I don't want that. I want good temperatures. This is something that I would like to play every day. I'm not joking. This is something that I would like to play every day because this is the hardware I grew up. 
to validate this uh, this crossfire it's it's fantastic it makes me feel really good dun, 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 dun. come back you that was fast overall the idea of actually having crossfire with this type of video cards it's uh, kind of ludicrous because there's a lot of video cards that can actually do the, the same performance or even better comparing it to those 250 770s uh, hd uh, in crossfire now i'm, I'm not going to say that uh, this is a bad combination i just i love this idea of um, crossing two GPUs together and making a nice crossfire and try to see how it runs in some older titles. It's fascinating, you know, if I'm enjoying it, I'll, I wish at least inspire somebody to find some hardware like this and maybe you get the same joy. I like doing this, you understand? I'm not recommending if you want performance because you can get better performance from a single video card, but just in case you find that cheap i recommend you to get a system like this i mean a pair like this because it will give you a different type of joy when it comes to computers and performance i love this i love this combination but at the same time i'm not recommending this uh, setup